Welcome to the Steve Ames Show with guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my special guests, the Hammers. And now, on with the show. Hooray for Hollywood, that super coney phony Hollywood. Where any office boy or young mechanic can be a panic with just a good looking pan. And any barmaid can be a star maid if she dances with or without a fan. Hooray for Hollywood, where you're terrific if you're even good. For anyone at all from Shirley Temple to Amy Semple is equally understood. Go out and try your luck, you might be Donald Duck. Hooray for Hollywood, hooray for Hollywood. That super phony Coney Hollywood. They come from Chillicothes and Paducahs with their bazookas to get their names up in lights. All armed with photos from local rotos with their hair in ribbons and legs in tights. Hooray for Hollywood. You may be only in your neighborhood, but if you think that you can be an actor, go see Max Factor. He make a monkey look good. Within a half an hour, you'll look like Tyrone Power. Hooray for Hollywood. Thank you. We opened our show tonight with Hooray for Hollywood, a song which has become the national anthem of Hollywood. It was first introduced in the Warner Brothers film Hollywood Hotel, and it was written by Johnny Mercer, who wrote the lyrics, and Richard Whiting, who composed the music. And on tonight's show, we will be celebrating both the lyrics and music of one of America's greatest songsmiths, Johnny Mercer, on the occasion of Johnny Mercer's centennial, because Johnny Mercer was born exactly 100 years ago on the 18th of November, 1909, in Savannah, Georgia. So we'll be doing a lot of Johnny Mercer songs on the show tonight. But first up, I'd like you to meet the two great musical tunesmiths at the guitar, Sandy Renda, right over here. And... At the keyboard with his cap on, Mike Yanuzzi, right over there. And you know, this next Johnny Mercer song, which he wrote for the Warner Brothers film, Blues in the Night, has music by Harold Arlen. And here it is. My mama done told me I was a knee pants. My mama done told me, son, a woman will sweet talk and give you the big eye. But when the sweet talking's done, a woman's a two faced, a worrisome thing will leave you to sing the blues. Take my word, the mockingbird will 
Thank you very much, Sandy Renda, nice and thank you, again, Mike Yanuzzi, for yeah. helping me celebrate the music and the lyrics of the great Johnny Mercer. And, and I know you've got a Mercer number coming up. Before we do that, though, I just want to say how versatile Johnny Mercer was. He wrote most of his songs for Hollywood movies back in the 30s, the 40s, and into the 1950s and 60s. And he had more collaborators. He collaborated with more great composers than anybody else in the music business. Some of them included Harry Warren, Richard Whiting, Jerome Kern, Hoagy Carmichael, and also Henry Mancini. Isn't that just amazing? And I also want to mention that the uh, CD that we all recorded not too long ago, Steve Ames' Favorites of the 30s, of the 16 songs on that album, three of them are Johnny Mercer songs. You Must Have Been a Beautiful Baby with music by Harry Warren, Goody Goody with music by Maddie Melnick, and Too Marvelous for Words by Richard Whiting. And not only did Johnny Mercer write all these great songs for Hollywood movies, but he was also one of the founders of Capitol Records. And he was a very, very good singer in his own right and it had his own radio show and did a lot of recordings and also wrote music for Broadway. So Mike, we'd like to talk about that right now, some of the shows. He did Top Banana with Phil Silvers and then he did a show that you did not too long ago. Well, it was more longer than I'd like to think, but yes, he did. He wrote Little Abner right. <clears throat> and, um, you know, from the Al Cap comic uh, that was popular way, way back when. Uh, it doesn't get uh, produced too much anymore, although it is very big uh, in high school. Sometimes you'll see it. That's right. Gene DePaul wrote the music for that show. And what were some of the big hits from Little Abner? Oh, uh, Jubilation T. Cornpone and uh, If I Had My Druthers. Um Ooh, I can have off the top of my well, you did that show about 20 years ago, yeah. right? As the musical director. The director, yeah. It's a fun show. It's, yes, a, lo it it's a lot of fun. It's I hope that they show. will revive it. Yeah, yes, it's great I, music. It oh, certainly absolutely. is. And one of the last collaborators Johnny Mercer worked with was Henry Mancini. And Sandy, you and Mike have a great song from that period. Would Beautiful. you like to introduce it? Beautiful song, yeah. The Days of Wine and Roses. From the movie of the same name. The same name. There you go. I would like to just a little aside. Yes. Mike was saying he was, was the choral director of, uh, I was little Abner one year for <laughs> Halloween. Oh, you were oh, dressed up as little Abner yeah, for I Halloween. <laughs> Very I good. Daisy May. I was Daisy May. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, well, with that, here are Sandy and Mike and the beautiful Johnny Mercer, Henry Mancini song, Days of Wine and Roses. Thank you. 
Sandy and Mike for that beautiful rendition of Days of Wine and Roses. And Sandy, you working very hard tonight because you serve two jobs on the show. Not only are you musical director along with Mike, but tonight you are also talent coordinator oh, because like you that. have discovered the talent for tonight's show and please do the duties in telling us about them. Well, I don't know if I discovered them or not, but this, this band has been around a number of years and Really a great one for a treat, real great blues sound boy. Great guitar player, bass, we got a great drummer, great keyboard player, but really a nice sound. The, the guys are, have been around. They really, and they play all over. They're really uh, uh, terrific, and you're gonna enjoy the, this nice, strong blues feel that they're gonna create for us. So, um, I'm also proud to say that I worked with the guitar player a little bit, Ira and um, Dom, and it's been um, a, a great relationship over the course of the years, but, uh, uh, like I said, you're really going to enjoy them. They're very good. So let's enjoy them. Here they are now, the Hammers. Not the boy and the girl so fine. I make a mind, but I don't send a time. I'll be ripping and a running. Laughing and a fawning, ripping and a running, it sure got good to me. She talking about me and have some kids, but I cut out, maybe yes I did. I was a ribbon and a running, laughing and a fawning, ripping and a running, it sure got good to me. Yeah, I'm only sure that I will not be here Cause I'll be ripping and running Laughing and a funny Ripping and a running It sure got good to me Show gotta go, I'll be ribbing and a running, laughing and a fawning, ribbing and a running, it sure got good to me. Oh, ribbing and a running, it sure got good to me. Oh, ribbing and a running, it sure got good to me.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for our special musical guest, The Hammers, right over here. Thank you. And Ira, you're the leader, right? Yes. And uh, let everybody introduce themselves again. I'm uh, Dominic, play the bass. I'm Jim, I play the keyboards. Steve, I play the drums. Very nice, fellas. Welcome to the show. We enjoyed your first number very much. So, Ira, how did the Hammers come about? How did you get this uh, band together? Well, um, I met uh, Dominic through uh, Sandy Renda. Ah. Uh, we both were, at the time, students of his. And, um, and then, um, as the years went, we played with a lot of different musicians. And uh, were fortunate enough to meet Steve and Jim over the years. And... Uh, now we're all together. Very good. And where did you get the name, the Hammers, from? Um, we went through a lot of different names until that was the one that I guess everyone hated the least. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> uh, do you remember what some of the other names were? Um, no, I put them out of my mind. Oh, you mind. put them out of your <laughs> mind, right. Now, I understand uh, you and Dominic did the Uncle Floyd show several years ago, right? Do you remember that, Dominic? Yeah. What are your memories? Yeah, I think, um, we did it back when it was being filmed in Nutley. No, and, um, Arecchio. Arecchio. Yeah, that's when I was on the show. We're yeah. going back around 1990. Yeah, I think 90, right, 1990, 1990. Right, and you were already the Hammers then. Yes. But only yes. two Hammers. Yes, myself and Ira, <laughs> and um, the original, it was um, Bob and um, Dave. Oh, so you had two time? other fellas oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, with you previously, yes. right? And then when did uh, Jim and Steve join the group? Let's ask um, them. Steve, uh, you remember when you joined the group? What, about two years now, two years ago? You don't okay. remember, do you? Something like that. Oh, you do. Something okay, like yeah. And you get like extra credit for having my name, Steve. Don't yeah, forget yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And Jim, then you came along around the same time? Yeah, um, yeah, about the same time. Very good. Do you fellas have a website uh, to give out? Um, yes, it's uh, www.hammersband.com. Give that out one more time. It's www.hammersband.com. Com. Very nice, very nice. And you must have quite a large repertoire. It's a lot of songs. Uh, we've been together over 20 years, Steve, so That's you know, a long we, time. we accumulate a lot of songs. That's a lot right. of memories, too. And tell years. us, who wrote the first number that you did? Uh, I guess I did. Well, you did. That's an original. Yeah, yeah, um, very good. Actually, we only played originals uh, today. So. Okay, yeah. so then the next song coming up, also an original. Yes. You wrote both music and lyrics to it? Yes. That's marvelous. That's very good. Will you introduce the next number? Um, the song is uh, it's uh, <laughs> "Ripping and Run" is the first one. That was the first song. The first song, and the second one is uh, "Married Life." Married Life. Anybody married here? Okay, so you're the only the only one that can testify to real life experience <laughs> to married life, right? Well, what would you like to say about our good friend Sandy Renda? Oh, Sandy is a musical fountain. You know, a musical he's, fountain, he very is. good. He just, he, he, I he, like that. He just, music flows out of him, and he's uh, not only a wonderful musician and uh, person, but he, um, but he, he, he's a great teacher, too. I've I got a tremendous amount from Sandy Renda. This is true. Yes. You were not the first person who's been on this show who has studied with Sandy Renda. We've had several others, and I must say they are all very talented people. Yes. So uh, we give Sandy a lot of that credit and everything. And Ira, I want to thank you. I want to thank uh, Sandy, and I want to thank you very much for coming on the show with the Hammers. We appreciate that. We're looking forward to your next number very much. Let's hear it for the Hammers. Strong, I'm 
wrong I'm wrong I'm wrong Baby, I'm wrong Agreeing with no woman Cause I won't be here too long Jimmy! Toy. She won't let go She won't give in Because the will's too strong You're wrong I'm wrong You're right Baby, you're right Agree with the lady Cause I won't be sleeping here tonight Mercer had a long friendship and musical association with Bing Crosby going back to the 1930s. One of Johnny's first song hits, I'm an Old Cow Hand, was written for Bing's movie Rhythm on the Range. But of all the songs that Johnny Mercer wrote for Bing Crosby, this next one has to be my favorite. It's such an optimistic, happy tune with a wonderful philosophy. And Bing introduced it in the Paramount film, Here Come the Waves. And here it is, with lyrics by Johnny Mercer and music by Harold Arlen. You gotta accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, latch on to the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In-Between. You gotta spread joy up to the maximum, bring gloom down to the minimum, have faith or pandemonium is liable to walk upon the scene. To illustrate my last remark, Jonah in the whale, Noah in the ark. What did they do just when everything looked so dark? Man, they said we gotta accent. She ate the positive, Elin, and ate the negative, and latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. Elin, 
an eighth and negative and latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. Oh no, don't mess with Mr. In Between. Dream, dream. 